to can end I ask this a question. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to ask this to Carrie. How do they um, misuse PCR to estimate uh, all these so supposed free viral RNAs that may or may not be there? Uh, is this, um, I think misuse PCR is not quite. I don't think you can misuse PCR. No, the results, the interpretation of it. See, if you if you if you can say, if 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 they wanted, if if they can find this virus in you at all, and with PCR, if you do it well, you can find almost anything in anybody. It starts making you believe in the sort of Buddhist notion that everything is contained in everything else, right? I mean, because if you can amplify one single molecule up to a to something that you can really measure. Which PCR can do, then there's just very few molecules that you don't have at least one single one of them in your body. Okay, so that could be thought of as a misuse of it, just to, to claim that it's meaningful. But the the real misuse of it is is that it, you don't need to test for HIV. You don't need to test for the other ten thousand retroviruses that are unnamed, also in the subject. See, somebody that's got HIV generally is going to have almost anything that you can test for because they have definitely been... HIV is a fairly rare virus. There's only one million of us out of 250, 300 million people in America that have that virus. So you have to get around. Either your mother had to have it and pass it to you, or you have to really be paying a lot of attention to people that do have it and paying only attention to them and get a pretty good chance of getting it that way. It's hard to get it. But it, if you have it, there's a good chance you've also got a lot of other ones. Because you've been in the in the market for you've been it's been possible for you to get a lot of it's it's, it's a, to test for that one and say that has any special meaning is what I think is the problem not that PCR has been misused it's like it's not an estimation no it's a real it's a really quantitative thing it tells you something about nature and about what's there but it 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 allows you to take a very minuscule amount of anything and make it measurable and then talk about it in meetings and stuff like it is important. See, that, that that's not a misuse, that's just sort of a misinterpretation. Even after all the these uh, uh, PCR, this quantitative PCR, that if you just get down to a basic virological count, it's still one in a thousand to one in ten thousand uh, HIV in one to one in a thousand, one in five hundred to one in a thousand T cells. It, it is. No, they, that, th th there's very little of what they call HIV, and what's been brought out here by Phil Pot and, and, and Isai already. It, the measurement for it is not is not exact at all. It's not it's not as good as our measurement for things like apples. An apple is an apple. You know, you can get something that's kind of like, if you've got enough things that look kind of like an apple and you stick them all together, you might think of it as an apple. But, and, and HIV is like that. Those tests are all based on things that are invisible and they are, the results are inferred in a sense. PCR is separate from that. It's just a process that's used to make a whole lot of something out of something. That's what also, it is. Um, and it's, they, but it's not, it doesn't tell you that you're sick and it doesn't tell you that the thing you ended up with really was going to hurt you or anything like that. That's why it's not, so even if you believe in HIV, it can't tell the difference between virus particles or active live virus. I mean, there's a lot of questions involved. Mm -hmm.